To Nebraska's capital, where lawmakers are back in session, this time for a short session and one large looming item. KTV News Watch 7's Andrew Ozaki has the latest from Lincoln. Beyond the smiles and handshakes, lawmakers have 60 days to solve a $110 million budget shortfall, find money for property tax relief, address prison overcrowding, speed up road projects, K-12 school funding, Mr. and Mr. Medicaid George, expansion. The head of the legislature's budget writing committee believes it can be done. Utilizing the reserve, looking at existing budgets, and we're going to have to cut some existing budgets to help make the balanced budget out. The state is sitting on a three-quarter of a billion dollar rainy day fund, but Senator Heath Mello would only like 180 to 190 million dollars used. So when it comes to property tax relief, especially on ag land, there has to be something that we do on property tax. Even the chair of the Revenue Committee says it could be little steps this session. We need to do things this year and the next year. And the year after that. The same goes for prison overcrowding. The Department of Corrections has asked for $26 million. Corrections has been doing the best they can for a long time. Um, I'd rather do it right than do it quickly. A new Medicaid expansion proposal is also expected to draw heated debate. Sponsors say it's based on the Arkansas model, which is a private sector approach. It could help 77,000 working Nebraskans. The cost is less, but still has staunch opposition. That can absolutely wreck our budget if we did something like that. Also expect other issues like gay rights and the legalization of medical marijuana to return this session. We're not looking at, at, at stoner, people who are stoners or dopers or people who are trying to get high. These are people who are sick and ailing. Uh, our, our bill only allows it in pill or oil form. Add to that 11 term limited senators and this could be a short but interesting session. In Lincoln, Andrew Ozaki, KETV, Newswatch 7.